Joining us now on the CHGO Blackhawks podcast is the Blackhawks top goalie prospect, Drew Camesso. Drew, thanks for taking some time to talk to us today. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. How's camp been going? What's the, uh, how did the new draft fix look? What's, what's it been like through two days? Camp's been awesome. It's been really great to meet all the new prospects as well as some that I already knew as well. Um, really just getting to know everyone, seeing the facilities. This is my first time out in Chicago since I think I was nine. So I'm really just trying to take everything in. Um, you know, the new prospects are great too. You can tell on the ice there's not too much of a difference between them and some of the older guys. And, um, you know, it's clear that the Blackhawks did a very good job in drafting this year. And um, I know that they will going forward. It's been kind of a strange couple of years with COVID and all the starts and stops. And then hasn't been a dra- This is the first development camp since 2019. How big is something like this, spending a week with the organization, getting to learn about what the expectations are? It's huge because over the years, you know, you kind of only meet these people over Zoom and it's really not the same as in person. And getting to be here and just getting to know some of the guys and hopefully some of the, my future teammates is, is really big as, you know, a chemistry point off the ice. You know, you know, their big thing this week is building character between us and, you know, between the whole team. And, you know, it's clear that they picked high character individuals and, you know, I'm trying to put myself in a position to show that I have the best character off the ice as well. And um, it's been a great week so far. I'm looking forward to finishing it out strong. You've been really busy in the last uh, year or so, um, not only being the, the top goaltender at Boston, but also playing for, for Team USA, World Juniors, Olympics. What's that experience been like, you know, as, as a, a younger player? It's been such a blessing. I'm so fortunate to have those experiences, not just to play for USA, but to travel across the world and play hockey. And, you know, I think sometimes you can take that for granted. Um, you know, looking at things go, things go by so quick and, um, you know, when you look back in your hockey career, you know, I'm going to be really happy to say that I, I got to travel to a lot of cool places. I got to play a lot of good hockey. And every time I get to wear the USA jersey, it's so special. I'm so honored every time I do. And, um, yes, I have been having a, a pretty busy, you know, last 12 months. But, um, again, it's been, I've been so fortunate to have it. So I know it's been a few months since, since you were there. But what was that experience like at the Olympics? with all the restrictions and everything what was that like being being there and, and playing in that environment it was so cool really the whole tournament you kind of forgot you're there for hockey for some days just because you're walking around you see all these other amazing athletes and everyone was just so down to earth and kind and um, you know obviously when we get to the rink it was business and I made so many great friends and great memories over there and they definitely let us you know have some fun with the team and stuff um, you know obviously following the COVID guidelines and it was just such an honor to play in the Olympics. It really was, and um, something that I'll never take for granted. When we look at some of the guys brought in in the draft, and this year and years past, a lot of them have a lot of si- like growing to do physically. And Kyle Davidson and others have talked about the, the benefits of joining a big college program for some of those guys and the difference in the training between you know, a college hockey program and a junior program. You've done it. What's the difference like in terms of day-to-day training and getting ready for the NHL? Yeah, you know, I can't speak on, too much on behalf of the Canadian route because I've never done it. I can say that the college route, it's been nothing short of spectacular in the training sense. Um, you know, we've trained so much, and obviously we only play two games a week, which is a little less than the Canadian um, route does. Um, but again, that allows for us to develop so much in the weight room. I've been fortunate enough to work with Ken Whittier, my strength coach at Boston University, and he's been so amazing to me. Um, you know, we set out on a goal at the beginning of the summer to put on 10 pounds of muscle and um, I've done that right before camp so I owe a lot of credit to him Um, you know at the same time kind of like you said that off ice piece is so big especially for me developing as a goaltender trying to fill up my frame and you know get stronger. What's the secret to putting on 10 pounds of muscle (laughs) because I'm you know pretty thin but (laughs) (laughs) I mean to do that in in what like one summer to 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 get that done? Yeah it's it's a lot about balance Um, you know Really, life is about balance too, and it's no different trying to put on 10 pounds in the weight room. It's a lot of working out, but it's also a lot of eating and just making sure you're eating the right things. Um, I like that, yeah. Yeah, so obviously, you know, a cheat meal's fine here and there, um, you know, just for, you know, the mental part of it. But, you know, for the most part, I was eating five meals a day, and they're all pretty healthy. And my mom helped me cook a lot, and, um, you know, I've gotten some help from some people at the Blackhawks to learn how to cook and, you know, what meals to eat and things like that. Two videos? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Real quick, seeing that the direction this team is taking now, it's obvious rebuild. Is that exciting for a young player knowing, hey, it's all about us now. They want us to develop and get here. How is that as a prospect coming up? 
Yeah, I think it is pretty exciting. Um, you know, for me, I try not to focus too much on, you know, what's going on here, obviously, because I'm still at Boston University and, you know, I'm fully on board with them. And, um, you know, so for the time being, I'll focus completely on Boston University. And at the same time, I trust whatever's going on here. And, you know, I trust them, the management and Kyle. And um, I know that they're, you know, building, um, you know, a great team for the future. And um, I'm really looking forward to being part of that. But, you know, like I said, at the same time, I'm fully focused on playing for Boston University. And, um, I think that's, you know, the, the main goal of mine is to have a great season next season and, um, you know, take the decision from there. Do you sense a vibe in the locker room from some of the other guys, too, that some of them are actually competing for roster spots maybe as soon as this year? Uh, you know, there are a lot of spots open on the Blackhawks right now and maybe more to come. Have you sensed maybe a, a stronger sense of competition than, than maybe you would see in a traditional? I know this is your first prospects camp, but just in general, I think we were seeing it. Guys are battling on the ice every drill, every you know, every time they're in a the corner. It's hard. It's physical hockey. It, it, it feels like guys know they might have an opportunity to make the team here. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, like you like you touched on, the competition has been so great here. And at the same time, it's a healthy competition, right? You know, you go into the corner, and you know, guys are competing as hard as they can. Um, but at the same time, they have a healthy respect for the person next to them that's doing the same thing. So everyone's really pushing each other off the ice. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier. The character piece is so big here, and I can speak on behalf of, you know, every guy in the locker room. There's just high character people in there. Everyone's pushing for each other, making each other better. So it's just a really healthy vibe in the locker room, and um, you know, it's something that I'm, I'm looking forward to contributing to. Through two days of camp, who would you say has the best shot on the team that you faced? I've seen a lot of good shots. I think uh, Frank Nazar is one of the recent draft picks. He has a really great shot. I had the opportunity to skate with him for the first time today, and. Um, he definitely has a shot above his years, so I know he'll continue to work on that. But, you know, all the guys here have good shots. And, you know, once you get to this level, everyone can shoot the puck. That's awesome. Good. All right, Drew, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. We'll hopefully we'll talk to you down the road of many years to come on the CHGO Blackhawks podcast. Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.